Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and today we have part four in our series of learning how to pray. So we had part one which was pause, then we had part two that was rejoice, rejoicing raisins, then we had part three that was ask and today we have part four which is yes. So P-R-A-Y spells pray and today we are going to be looking at the word yes why for yes now what does that mean when we're praying so we've looked at pausing and being still before god we've looked at rejoicing so when we pray we pause then we rejoice in god's goodness we tell him how amazing and how great and wonderful he is then we look into asking how do we ask for things and what do we ask for and the last word is yes and this means, yes, Lord, your will be done, not mine. So we're talking about learning to say yes to God's way and not to our ways. The more we spend time in God's presence, the more that we will learn what he wants for our lives is better than what we could ever imagine. So today we're going to look at a road sign. Now, this road sign is triangular. And it's red and white and it's often seen at the corner of roads when cars have to stop and give way to the traffic that's coming from the left or the right. So yield is another way of saying give way or yes stop here for a moment and I want you to go in a different direction or yes carry on going in this direction. So we have a road sign that is going to help us think about yielding and saying yes to God's way not our way something else I want to show you as well some flowers some white flowers now these flowers have beautiful white petals and long green stems and what the video is going to show us in a minute is these flowers going into some colored water and the water is then drawn up the stem of the flower and into the petals and if you watch the video we'll see what's going to happen to those flowers that are white at the moment let's see what's going to happen did you think of that video the flowers changed color the white petals gave way to the food coloring and they became a different color and this is how I like to think about when I pray in God's presence and the more I spend time with Jesus the more his ways become my ways so the flowers changed colour because they were spending time in the coloured water and the water was being drawn up the stem and going into the petals. So when we pray and when we say yes to God, when we say yes, your will be done, not mine, that is a reminder of the petals changing. So the more time we spend in God's presence, the more we take on his character and we take on his thinking. The more time we spend with Jesus, it gives us the skills to be able to decide what are the best things for me to choose. What would Jesus have me do in this situation? So sometimes we need to stop, we need to think, and we need to say, yes, God, what, you're, what you want for my life is better than what I want for my life. So your will be done, not mine. And that is what yes means when we're learning how to pray. 